Cause I probably smiled at you And even begged you for a spare change She'd easily laugh at your jokes But deep inside she'd cry for coke This is little Betsy Living her life to a G Pushing herself to clean Welcome to India Post Live, India's first online live news interactive conversation web portal. I'm Ms. Yao Mubutia. Well, uh, the, the thing that the, the, it's not just the blood relationship that, these, that binds these sisters, it's also the love for their music. Hailing from India's northeastern Manipur state, the sisters have come a long way as far as their music goes. The band was formed in 2011 and they call themselves Minute of TK. Welcome to India Post Live, guys. I have with me Singh Singh. Sean and Popo, welcome to India Post Live, guys. I'm also joined online by Sangeet Chiring, okay? Uh, Sangeet will join us shortly. So, girls, how are you today? Good. Good. It's a, it's, it's a beautiful weather outside, so, it you is. know. It is. It is. So, just, you know, tell us, how would you define your music? Um, it's a little bit of everything. A little bit of everything? Uh, okay. Indie, with mm -hmm. a little bit funk. of funk, a little bit of reggae mm -hmm. and folk. Mm -hmm. yeah. And um, how has it been like, you know, staying in, living in Delhi and, you know, performing here and there, performing in gigs and, you know, in colleges, events? How is it like? It's an altogether a uh, very different experience. Mm -hmm. yeah. And we feel great. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. nice. How, how does it feel to be, you know, recognized for your music, you know, when people go like, one more girls, you know? We feel really blessed. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's all because of God's grace that we are, you know, uh, where we are today mm -hmm. and because of these beautiful people and with their constant support and mm -hmm. our parents, of course, who's yeah. been, you know... Uh, your, your parents have been a huge influence in your music, right? They are, they are. Yeah. Without them, we won't be, you know, uh, we wouldn't be even doing music today, I think. Okay, yeah. so you, you come along, you come from that rock and roll family? Actually, my parents, they don't say, they don't actually, uh -huh. yeah. They, but then they love music. Mm -hmm. They listen to all uh, the uh, songs. Who do they listen to? Which artists do they listen to? Your Scorpion, Suzy Quattro, okay. Smokey. Quite happening parents, yeah, I That's say. how we grew up listening to all those kind of songs. Well, that yeah. must have been really nice. I mean, you know, our parents, you know, you're growing up with parents who's listening to Scorpions and, you know. Yeah, actually they are cool. <laughs> mm -hmm. So yeah. you, you guys recently released your latest uh, EP that's uh, Finding Betsy, right? Yes. Yeah. So tell us, is that your debut EP? That's a debut EP. Mm -hmm. Tell us about that. Um, it's a giant testimony about youth, basically, mm -hmm. then drugs, identity, mm -hmm. yeah, and then relationships of, yeah, from uh, of the people of the Northeast, mm -hmm. especially. And then we have this uh, thing 
Betsy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And who she, was Betsy? She's our cousin. She was. <laughs> she is still our cousin. <laughs> cousin. Uh -huh. Yeah, but who passed away actually, oh, you know? And okay. then she died of drugs. So we thought maybe we'll do a little something, you know. So the whole song, uh, the track, mm -hmm. it's all about not just about her, but then yeah, she is involved in all the songs. Yeah, I wanted to yeah, like talk about a uh, track from that uh, EP, Life Song. I mean, I listened to that song and you know, it was so intense. And I mean, I love, obviously, I love that song. I listen to it, you know, nowadays, mm -hmm. mostly, most of the time. But you know, when you listen to the song, you can, you know, there's so much intensity. You can feel that, you know, the sense of alienation in the lyrics, you know. The, 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 the lyrics starts with, you know, far, I have come yeah, from far, the far come. leaving behind all the blue sky yeah. and, you know, and being grown up with the violence and guns, you mm -hmm. know. Tell us about life song. It's um, actually it's written by Shalmi, sure. mm -hmm. a very good friend of ours, mm -hmm. and he's, uh, he's a professor, a professor in yeah. the UAE. Okay, and then he gave us with the material, and then we we're like, oh my god, yeah, this fit, the song, the lyrics, it fitted perfectly with what we had in mind. Mm -hmm. So, and it this in the song it talks about this uh, someone and then her background. Mm -hmm. So, like it said, from land of far I've come. Because I could place, totally yeah. relate to the song, you know. Because Notice. Was, yeah, Notice. We, we, we all come from there, mm -hmm. and you know, mm -hmm. when I was listening to the song, I was imagining the blue sky, you know, from my house, and yeah, the all trees. the trees, yeah. and the birds. There's even know? smoke mid yeah. in the song. I could, I could <laughs> totally relate to it. Can I, can, can I, can you just play something, you know, from the life, just one, two line for me, from life song? Life song. I know, I know it's too, too difficult without your all the instruments but you know just can you just play just the opening yeah. line from land afar i've come living green blue sky and cool streams yeah yeah that's, that's how it, yeah, yeah that's, the opening that's, that's really nice yeah and you know the very very interesting fact about your band is like you all sisters right yeah so how was it like you know you guys used to play in church to sing in church choir group and you know and then eventually, 2011, you, you, you know, you formed, formed the band. band. Yeah. How was it like, you know, growing up singing together? Was it like, do you guys just to fight over, you know? <laughs> okay. Uh, initially, in our earlier days, when in, in our younger days, it was just me and her. Mm -hmm. uh, she came much later in the sin. Okay. <laughs> she was the younger one also, you know. So, yeah, we grew up singing in church. I mean, in different churches, and then later, like. 2011 May. Mm -hmm. That was the time when my parents actually they came to spend summer with us, mm -hmm. and they were like, um, "Isn't it a waste of time? You know, you guys are like you girls are talented. You pick up your instruments and then you know do something productive, you know, and then worthwhile." And they always talk about life, and they say life is not forever. You know, it's like the dainty flower that blooms and withers in no time. So that's how MOD came up. And then also I had written a song earlier in um, when I was in class nine or eight somewhere there. Then I wrote, yeah, it, it was titled Minita DK. Mm -hmm. So it kind of fitted perfectly mm -hmm. with, with how my parents taught us. No? So that's how it came. And then, yeah. Tell us about your childhood days in Manipur. Like, does your song reflect of what you went through in the, during the childhood days? Like, you know, talk about your song deals with issues like drug abuse, the violence, the, the insurgency, you yeah, know? That everyone faces, no? Mm -hmm. Whoever's there back home, I mean, and from Nautis, and especially from the part where we come from. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. drugs almost in every of yeah. the families, you know. Yeah, I know, yeah. It's, it's a huge problem back home. It is, and then again, violence, killings yeah. everywhere. So, and everything. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's still going yeah, on bun, now. Buns so, yeah. are a major part of Nautis, yeah. you know? So, we thought we will come up with something that we could relate to also. Mm -hmm. So, and then, um, yeah, that's how Finding Betsy came in. Mm -hmm. Is there another track, you know, from your from your EP which deals with, with these issues? Um, it's all connected. Actually, actually. it's all connected. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, we that's why it's named Finding Betsy. So we keep Betsy as the main, mm -hmm. and then in the track, there are like four tracks. Life song may. It talks about her background and how mm -hmm. she leaves uh, her hometown oh, yes, yeah. to, like, you know, pursue her dreams, career. She goes mm -hmm. to the city, which is, I think, in in our case, like, it's most of yeah, our most of life. Her, yeah, yeah, it's our life yeah. song, yeah. which everyone could relate yeah. to, kind of thing. Yeah? I could totally relate to mm -hmm. it, you know. And so then comes um, 
changes. Changes, yeah. Mm -hmm. People they go, they listen. Uh, I mean, they um, become somebody. They pursue their dream. They, you know. But then this Betsy. particular girl, mm -hmm. yeah, which we name Betsy, she is afraid of changes, mm -hmm. like bringing changes in her life, because, um, yeah, maybe she is. Um, I don't know, not open to you know receiving changes or anything like that. So it went on, and then it talks about like how she ended her life in 24 years, and then all this 24 years, mm -hmm. she achieved nothing, because in, um, at the end she died of drugs only. Mm -hmm. So we came in like with a little Betsy there. Mm -hmm. So we tell people. So this girl whom we've been singing about in the this is little Betsy, you know, mm -hmm. living her life to edgy. In her, this thing, she will be like the pretty, she's portrayed as a pretty girl, which she was also, she was mm -hmm. also very pretty girl. She will smile at anyone who, you know, and then, but then inside she was fighting hard, battling with drugs mm -hmm. and how she died. So towards the end, we come up with Apple of the Eye. This is also written by a friend, mm -hmm. uh, Semi Ramroor, a very good brother also. And then so we decided to give a message like someone has to have a center or the apple of the eye, like whom we can look up to or, you know, for us, we are Christians, we look up to God and we keep him as the center, you know, like, so like, like that. Okay, can we, can we l listen to apple of the eye then? Um, okay, you okay. want to hear? Or maybe you can lis uh, listen to, you know, that song and like, the thing. Yeah. Our, uh, you can log on, log into our Facebook mm -hmm. page, yeah. Okay. Then yeah, there yeah, will be more complete. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I just don't want to spoil it by mm -hmm. you know, just singing like okay, this. Okay, you right don't want now. to play the acoustic version. Okay, no. then any other from your EP? Sure. Yeah? Changes. Changes, yeah. You can do that totally. Join me again, you ladies. The shade of grey, the shade of blue I don't know which colour will turn out to I dare not try, cause I'm afraid It'll not be the colour of my trade I'm not prepared to see the changes Thinking what if it's my words I'm more than a chicken sheep Fearing every odds and beats Oh, they've been to the moon They leave and plot stars very soon Yet so Achieved nothing I believe. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So Sanghi Chirin wanted to join us online, but uh, I think he's having a bit of you know problem with his internet. So he wanted to you know he wants to ask you a question regarding your to aspire for Bollywood. Bollywood. Yeah. What was the question again? <laughs> do you do you aspire to you know a, do a Bollywood number? We, we, we don't we, mind trying yeah, new yeah, stuff, so we don't mind. So you're open to that? Okay, Sangi, so they are open to that, yeah. So Sangi, so you've been, uh, sorry, Popo, you've been really quiet there, you know, sitting in yeah, the corner, you know. Here. Yeah, so you, you are the youngest, right? Yeah. Do these two believe or not? I think they do sometimes, yeah. but in a good like. way. Uh -huh. <laughs> like, like how, like, my, my sister, the way used to bully me, because I'm... I'm also the youngest, so they used to tell me, that, oh. okay, he said, go get this, you know, buy this yeah, for me, go get this. I think she does that a lot. Yeah, she does it, yeah. yeah. I think I think it's the same, I can, you know, totally empathize with you because I went through the same because my sister would, you know, tell me, do this for me, do that for me, you're the youngest, you know. Yeah, I, I don't mind doing that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, that's, that's why we give her the sweetest tag, you know, <laughs> she's the sweetest sister. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, Sing Sing, tell where all have you played in Delhi, like? Delhi? Um, Theograge Stadium, and then there's this Talkatwara. And, mm -hmm. and 
Talco Tora Studio. Oh, yeah, Tora Studio. Yeah, and some few other pops. Mm -hmm. So, you know, since I wanted to ask you this question that, you know, you go and play in all these, you know, events and you do the gigs and stuff. So, but what is the challenge that, you know, being, you know, all girls band, you know, that you face, do you think people take your music seriously or, you know, maybe they think, oh, girls band, you know, who wants to, exactly. who do you want to go, do they, you know, do they, are these challenges that you face? Um, yeah, I think so, but I mean, we've been doing, like, you know what, since we are an all girl band, like, we just, we are, like, more challenging type, you mm -hmm. know, we feel like working more harder mm -hmm. because guys, Guys think, yeah, we yeah. initially don't want the all girl band yeah, tag, you know. Then, they don't then want you go out yeah. there and on your face. Yeah. Yeah. They should yeah. like us because they like the Our music, music. not mm -hmm. just because we are an all girl band. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do we have Sangya online? Okay. We just saw. I just saw. Yeah. He I think he's he's having a lot of problem with this uh -huh. with his internet. Mm -hmm. So Bollywood, what do you think of, you know, the the movie Maricom which is just released today? Have you seen the movie? We haven't. We have because we because haven't. we were reviewing the movie in the morning so you know the critics are the critics have thrashed the movie but you know coming from Manipur do you think you know Priyanka Chopra being being you know being the face of Maricom would you like to go and watch the movie definitely. we don't mind definitely we want to mm -hmm. but it would have been so much better you know I mean cliche it may sound but then uh, never mind who played the part mm -hmm. but then it we wouldn't mind if it was you know from our own state mm -hmm. who like you know played the role mm -hmm. of Mary Cole. But I think Priyanka played well. I saw the trailer. Mm -hmm. yeah, it was good. I haven't seen, so no comments. <laughs> <laughs> you know, how's the you know music, you know, industry? Do you think it's coming up nowadays, or do you think in in northeast also? Because nowadays I see a lot of Bollywood influence. You know, in terms of their music taste. I'm not saying that this is it's a bad thing. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just a good thing, of course. Yeah. But I see a lot of people are you know. When I go, I, this time I went to Shillong and I heard people, you know, listening to Bollywood numbers all the time, you know, because Shillong is supposed to be the rock capital of India, right? Yeah. So I was a little shocked, you know, to, to know that people here, which is a good thing, of course, do you think? In Manipur also or in other parts Honestly. of the Northeast, there's a, you know, the, the taste of music is changing Honestly. or do you think, no, it's coming back, you know, there are a lot of bands. Actually, it depends on the individual also, you know, that they, the liking, the, the type of genre that we mm -hmm. listen to, one listen to. But there are some few interesting songs from Bollywood, I mean, the sing, some of the movies also. What, what, what's the name of the song again? I know, I think you remember. There's an old song, but I like the song. Yeah. yeah. Pilun something. We 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 are really bad in Hindi. Yeah. <laughs> we don't speak at all. But okay, then so it's uh, there are some interesting music, mm -hmm. you know, like which you want to listen to over and over again. So I think, yeah. So yeah, so uh, Sangye's question, I got it completely wrong. So sorry, Sangye. But he wanted to ask you that in a you know in an industry which is you know dominated with Bollywood, Bollywood. So how do you guys you know put up you know what where do you think you stand you know as a musician, indie artist. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, I mean, we have our own unique uh, qualities, right? Mm -hmm. So, maybe us as a sister, I mean, as sisters, and then what we do, mm -hmm. I think that will hopefully make us stand out. <laughs> We're just hoping. Because, yeah, there are like competitions, we can say, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then there are many good bands coming up, and they're like Bollywood there, this thing. But then maybe if we can find a place somewhere, maybe we will be very grateful. And then that's what we are aiming for, hopefully in like few years' time from now. Maybe you'll see us all somewhere mm -hmm. there. Yes, <laughs> yes, definitely, definitely. We wish you all the best. Okay, Popo, tell, you know, answer me this question. How do you feel, you know, when you walk on the street? Because in Delhi, there's so much you know, incidents against these Northeast people. How do you feel in your, when you walk on the street and, you know, somebody passes comments? How do you handle that? Do you fight back or do you just ignore? No, I just ignore. It, I mean, it's no point seeing them back. But do you think you should really ignore? Because you have to bring about... No, but, but I haven't come across something really bad, so mm -hmm. I don't have any experience on that. So what if you could do come across what tomorrow? Maybe how would I'll you, see. How it would depends you do on how... Depends on, the <laughs> depends on your yeah. mood. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't really ignore, but I'll see. I'll see what it comes into my mind. I'll just say it. 
Yeah, and also this, you know, since there's so much incidents of, you know, violence and this and that, racism cases against Northeast people, do you think that you, as a musician, as an artist coming from that region, should use your music, you know, to, to give out the message of, you know, that we are all the same, we are all Indians, we are, we are no different, we might look different, we might dress them differently, but we have, we, 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 we have the same values, you know, do you, do you think you want to do that yeah, with your yeah, music? Yeah. Because so I want to jump in there. Yeah, please. Because, yeah, there's, there's one language which everyone speaks, universal language, and that That's is music. music. Yeah. So. No, because I'm, I'm talking about the lyrics of the music, the lyrics, you know. Huh? Yeah. So, yeah, through, with, the mus uh, with the lyrics, and then with the music again, I think it will work effectively. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because... Um, that's like the only the same language which yeah. we can you know how like we can um, give out the give message out the yeah message. Mm -hmm. because like I said we don't speak Hindi much mm -hmm. there are some people who don't understand us also and we look different I mean everyone looks different but then maybe you know through this one common thing that we all have you know which we can understand with one another so do 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 do, do we get questions like what do you eat you know, why is your hair so straight? Yeah, a lot of, did you straighten your hair? Yeah. yeah. Do you get that? Yeah, a lot. A lot. I get annoyed with such questions, you know, when people ask me, like, what do you eat? <laughs> what do you do with your hair? Do you straighten it? I'm like, no, it's like, you know, my, my natural. genes, it's naturally straight. Mm -hmm. I'm not done anything. When I go back at people, they're like, when was the last time that you straightened? I was like, no. Mm -hmm. Do you get that such questions? Do you get annoyed? A lot, a lot. Even in parlors also, when we had to go for, you know, in hair salons, when we go for, you know, Yeah, even thing. recently. Even recently. Like, how much did you pay for straightening your hair? <laughs> <laughs> she got that. Okay, now, we have almost come to the end of our show. Um, okay. Unfortunately, Sange couldn't uh, join us, but uh, anyway, never mind, Sange. Next time, we uh, will have another band, so, you know, can we, before I wrap up the show, can we listen to one of your tracks from your EP or any cover that you would like to do? Sure. sure. You do covers, right? Yeah, yeah we I do know. covers. Yeah. Who's your favorite artist? Like oh, Suzy Quattro, but then all time favorite would Janice be Janis Joplin, Janice Joplin also. So are you doing a cover or are you just playing your own? This is the cover? Yeah. Sure. Would you hold this for me? Which one? <laughs> I don't know, just um, never forget you. Uh, why don't you sing uh, Amy? Okay, we'll save that for someone else later. <laughs> okay. Oh. I've seen you before run at this coach, I saw you were oh, driving me out of my mind. Oh, but I could have sworn that I saw something more. Okay, guys, before we go, what are your future plans? I know that's a too cliche question, but you know, tell us about any upcoming your gig, album. Yeah. Um, we have, oh, we are video, video shoot, shoot this, uh, this, this month. month. Mm -hmm. yeah. Which one? Um, it, it's a surprise. Okay, it's a surprise. <laughs> okay, so okay, we don't want to reveal it right surprise, now. Yeah. It's a surprise. Yeah, but we have yeah, mm -hmm. a video shoot coming up this month and gigs, gigs lined lined up. Up. so maybe check. Um, Please continue to check. Look where in where in Delhi are you playing? I'm, I'm I must come to to one of your gigs. Oh, oh well, where? In one in Hoskas village and another might I don't know not sure yet. Mm -hmm. but then mm -hmm. We're trying hard rock. 
Okay. Yeah. Okay. On that note, I, I wish you all the best for your future endeavors. Thank you, thank you thank so you. much for coming and talking to us. Thank you, Sean. Thank Pleasure. you, Popo, and thank you, Sing Sing. Thank you. Well, on that note, we have come to the end of our show. However, the conversation does not end here. The conversation continues on India Post Live. Well, what do you think of Minute of DK? Log on to our website www.indiapostlive and leave your comments there. You can also tweet us at hashtag India, India Post Live or at the rate India Post Live. You can also go to our Facebook page and leave your comments there. Thank you for watching the show and good night.